exploration and adventure have always been, um, I think, the heart of The Legend of Zelda, where you are allowed to play and you are allowed to explore and discover new things. The focus is so centrally on exploration. Um, and so with our film, the world and that sense of exploration is something that is so, so important and we try to really uh, zone in on throughout the movie by showing different locations and maybe not telling you exactly where you're going to end up. Um, I think a lot of the time the audience is with Link in where he's going. They don't necessarily know uh, where, where he's going to go and he doesn't know where he's going to go. Uh, so you're both discovering it together. Hopefully the character of Link will connect with people um, on that level. I hope someone somehow will vicariously feel maybe what I was feeling, uh, just that there is a real person in this real location, and this real person is exploring. A lot of the times, I will say, a lot of, a lot of the times we, we were really exploring. Um, I got lost in the woods, in the Lost Woods, uh, one time during filming for um, about 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> um, I had no idea where I was. Um, I heard gunshots way off in the distance, and here I am wearing, like, green and brown, so no one's going to see me. They're going to see movement. Um, and I actually have, I have a, whole, a whole bunch of videos that I took during that just so I could keep talking so no one would, you know, think I was a deer or anything. It was probably the best location we could have found for the Lost Woods because I just... You know, I just walked maybe 20 feet one direction and had no idea where the camera was or where any of the equipment was. I was just totally lost in this forest um, in a costume uh, with, like, blood on my face. And, uh, you know, so it was really fun finding locations like that where, you know, it, it couldn't have, have worked out better. <laughs> I know I said the same thing with the music, but the world is just as integral a part of uh, Zelda Rising Darkness as as the actors and the costumes and everything, because it wouldn't be Zelda without an immersive world. The world is a part of the story. Because um, I, I think a lot of times you don't think about it, as an audience member, you don't think about the world as a storytelling element, but I think a lot of the time it's utilized, and just maybe darkness and light, and uh, certain things changing that you don't notice, but when it's all put together with the music and with the costumes, with the actors, you notice these certain themes that are recurring throughout the film. Like one of them we used was just uh, the life of the land. Uh, we try to show that Ganondorf has less of an influence over certain areas than others. Like you'll notice the Lost Woods, um, are very green and alive and it kind of stands in a very stark contrast to the rest of the world um, and there's reasons for that there's story elements for that which I kind of would like people to find for their own and I hope they do um, because it's so it was just so fun to make this not just the backdrop of the world but kind of like an accent to the entire story where you might not know that all of this stuff is happening but if you look close enough you might catch these certain themes and you know each each location presented its its challenges uh the desert you'll see uh was very cold and very hot and hopefully you won't be able to tell which but you know it was either we were freezing or we got sunburned uh and so our face would be red in every shot but you never know whether that was because it was hot or whether it was cold um it would get so cold <laughs> Of course, that was different than when we filmed in the snow. Um, and there were a lot of different, different places that we were able to film, and it was just very, a very unique experience, uh, experiencing filming in very different climates, very different environments. Um, and oh my goodness, I thank the cast and crew for putting up with me nine hours fighting in a hot desert in the middle of summer, wearing black costumes, made of sweatshirt material, <laughs> and, uh, you know, running running out of water, sweating, full makeup. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better, a better cast and crew um, that would do these things. And I hope that that passion, that passion will come through in Zelda Rising Darkness.